guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, I'm Michelle. Get ready, we got a total body workout. Total body means we're gonna be doing strength moves and cardio moves using your body weight and dumbbells. I'm gonna be using five, eight, and 10, so it always depends on what feels good to you. You could actually do all these moves without weights. I want you to focus on the range of motion because that's gonna be the key to turning up the intensity. It's not about how fast you go, it's really about that range of motion that you can get from your body. We're gonna finish this workout with a killer core section Focusing on using the gliders is gonna pull up and into that waist versus pushing out. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Make sure that you do click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss any workouts. Hey, if you want more content, maybe you wanna help me create the content, make sure you click that join button below. We're getting ready for that squat lunge, squat knee, so shoulders back, core is braced. Squat, lunge, squat, knee. We'll stay on the same side, and then we'll switch at the half mark. Take your time, get a great range of motion here. And keep the eye gaze lifted. It's gonna keep your spine nice and straight. All right, we're gonna take it now, squat, lunge, the left leg, and then knee up. Next move, we're gonna be doing a sumo with a step in. Get your feet in that nice wide sumo position here. Keep those shoulders back, eyes are lifted. We're gonna squat down and then bring that heel in. So use your inner thighs here. Sweeping the arms down, drop, squeeze. Other leg. And when you bring the heel in, try to connect them. Use those inner thighs. Really reach and lengthen up. Drop a little deeper. There you go. We're getting ready for those lateral shifting lunges. Keeping a wide stance. Keeping the core braced. Remember when you hinge forward, make sure you're looking out in front. And we'll shift over to the right side first. I'm gonna have my toes come up, center, and left. As I shift, I'm pushing back into my hips. Take a moment to rise up before you go back down. Push a lot of weight into that heel. And it's okay if the toes turn out slightly. We're gonna be doing inchworm with a hand release. Option to jump when you come back. I'm not gonna jump. So jumping is an option. So now we're warmed up. We're about three minutes into this workout. When you inchworm, make sure you come into a little bit of a squat and then walk it out. Keep the core tight, squat, walk out, hand release. Brace the core to come back. Option to jump. And the hand release is great. It's gonna activate your back muscles. And then squeeze your glutes down there for just that moment. Our next move is gonna be mountain climbers. We are using gliders today. That is optional. You could use paper plates. They're gonna be on our toes. Definitely, if you don't have these, don't worry. Just do some mountain climbers. 
You're going to hear us sliding on the floor. Different way to activate those core muscles here. So get into your plank. Alternate knees into the chest, slow or fast. Sounds like we're downhill skiing. Okay. And then you can determine if you want to go faster or keep it slow and in control. Turn it up for the last few seconds because we've got burpee lunge. Nice job. It just got hotter in here, right? Woo! Fan <laughs> it off. Burpee. Step or jump back. And then we're going to do a lunge, go back into the burpee, and then do the other lunge. Hands down, step or jump, back up, lunge. Or you could jack too, right? You can do what your body wants to do today. Another option, have a chair or do double lunge. So take what works for your body today. Next job, we're gonna add some weights here. I'm gonna go for my eights. We're doing that lunge, curtsy, lunge, deadlift. Roll the shoulders back. So first lunge, then curtsy, lunge. Lunge, curtsy, deadlift. You can press the arms back. Hold the weight up. Kick with a kick back. and slow down just a little bit. Shoulders back, eyes are up. You could do this workout definitely without equipment. This is just gonna level it up one notch. If you're on vacation, this would be a great one to do with no equipment. Great. Now, from this position here, this is the leg that we are working. We're gonna do a lateral lunge, so that swing. I'm just gonna use one weight. I'm gonna keep my eight. It's a swing, one, two, three. Lateral, one, two, three, right? I'm gonna go here. Woo! <laughs> And we're gonna be all over the place. And this is good for balance, hip mobility. <laughs> just don't fall. If you do, just fall with some grace. How's that swing going for you? Yeah. Oh, it just makes you kind of laugh, right? You can be. Super, other side. So start with those two weights. We're gonna do that lunge back, curtsy lunge. Weight is up. This leg is moving. Whew. Lunge, curtsy, and then kick back and lift the leg. Lots of movements going on here. You challenge your core for stability. Well, you drop. And you kind of stay there and you put some fire on that leg. Pull the belly up and in. Keep the length in the spine. Whew. It's good to get a little wobbly. Lateral lunge, I'm just gonna use one weight. Doing our little swing. 
throw yourself off a little balance, which is good. Whew. And then we'll make sure you see, we have a mirror in front of us and we have not had a mirror in like, I don't know, years. <laughs> so you might see us looking, I don't know. See, now I can see everything behind me. All right, I can see if anybody's cheating, right? With this mirror. Woo! Hey, shoes are important too. Like what kind of shoe are you wearing? Like a flat training shoe is best. Running shoes are gonna be super wobbly. When you reach down, you have to have a flat back or neutral spine. Oh yeah, that's kind of fun, right? Take a deep breath, two more squats. I'm gonna go for my tens. We're gonna do some heel lifting. Throw in some hammer curls with this. Turn it out wide. Drop, we'll start with this right heel up. And then the left heel. Really lifting into the first two toes here. Big toe, the toe next to it. Whatever it's called. All right, so lifting up. Really all the way. More, more, lift. There we go. You can drop a little bit. All right, now let's go both heels up. Drop the waist down. Both heels up. Stay and just curl. Push the knees a little out. Pull the chest upward. There we go. Drop another quarter inch. Woo! Forearm plank to plank. Jen and Diane are gonna do skull crushers. Pick a weight that works for you. We're gonna be moving from those forearms to the hands. So we come down in that forearm plank, knees or toes, press through the hands to rise up to plank, bend the elbows to drop back to forearm. This is a body weight skull crusher. You can always go back to the dumbbell movement. What makes it harder to? Being in extended plank. Pull the abs up and in. Look out to those hands if you're with me. If you're on your back, right, brace the core. Again, pulling up and in. We have a push-up kick through. So if you've got your weights, put them away. Push-up, we're gonna kick through to the front, come into a star, push-up, kick through to the back. So we're still gonna focus on those arms. So hold your plank, push up, back foot kicks through front, side pause, twist back, and push up to the back. In the push-up, it can be knees or toes, but do the hardest version that you can. Right, that's gonna help you build muscle. That, my friend, is gonna help you with your metabolism. No one's getting younger. We need this muscle mass. Beast walk. We're gonna do a lateral beast walk. I know you've seen this where you can go forward and back. We're gonna be going over to one side and then the other. So on hands and knees, knees off the crown, hands together. I'm gonna walk out as far as I can. I'm doing about three steps and then back. So my spine is staying neutral. I'm pulling up and in the belly. We're gonna get arms and core. Get those quads too. How those arms feeling, right? Woo! So fiery now. Make sure those hips are at shoulder height, not too high up. Knees just like an inch off the ground or two. Whew. Come to the back of your mat. We're gonna walk out. Start with the right hand. One, two, three, and then reach. 
to straddle it out. All right, we're gonna hinge forward here. It's a one, two, three, walk. And then we reach. Core tight. One, two, reach. One, two, half up, same hand. Right, left, right arm reaches. So remember, we're thinking strength here. Right hand goes down first. Now, next time you go down, you're gonna let your left hand go down first. Now it's left, right. Reach the left hand. Make sure to come down to the ground, right? Bend your knees, don't use your back. One more, come on, one more. Nice job. We are in break. Whew. All right, so we're halfway through this. Get some water, we're starting to sweat here. And then we're moving into the next move, which is a donkey kick. So know your modification. All right, so if you need to, you can follow. Liza, are you gonna do the modification? She's gonna do the modification, all right? All right, Liza's got you covered for the modification, so she's not gonna be on her knees. We're gonna come down onto our knees. We're gonna get ourselves into set position here. Hands under shoulders. Open your knees up. Make sure you have room that you're not gonna hit anything. We're gonna take that back leg and do that donkey kick, and then we're gonna step it forward. All right, we pull our weight back up, and then kick with the other leg. You guys ready? We've done this in down dog. This is just a different version of it, you guys. Donkey kick, step it, and then kick. Come back down, donkey, kick. And then you're gonna get this fluicity, right? The leg doesn't have to stay at 90 when you kick it back. You could just do a big straight kick back and forward. This is good for us when we're aging so that we can get off the floor. Right? So important. But if your knees are feeling it, right? Put something underneath that knee. Double up your mat. Great job, stand all four. So if you need to, right? You could take a towel, put it underneath the knee that's hitting the floor. I guess nobody else has a towel, just me because I knew I was gonna sweat in here. Other foot, donkey kick, step, kick. <sighs> to get off the floor, you gotta use that core. What happened to you, Jen? What? <laughs> yeah, don't trip on that mat. Really gotta pick up the feet. <sighs> Next time you come back, you can even throw in you have a weight, grab it, and then put it down. That's how life is sometimes, right? You gotta pick things up as you're moving everything else. Woo! All right, we are up. We got a forward lunge. We're gonna take that right foot. It's gonna stay. Keep the shoulders back. You guys can come in it right now. You too at home, you can come in it. Remember, we're gonna move it a little side to side. So we pick it up over and then back. Now, just light, which gives it low impact. This is so good for core, quad. And if it's too much for the knee, then just stay, right? Or you can even just hold. You can stay in an isolated lunge and that's super effective. Whew. We're gonna start sweating now, right? And then we got that other leg. All right. Nice job. Whew, shake it out. How'd that one feel for you though? Did you hold your breath? Switching sides, get in that lunge, you can hold it. Bend both knees, out a little. Was it a little stuck? <laughs> and lube it up a little bit. And again, take your options. You could just stay 
in that lunge. Hey, drop, then come up, right, to 90 degrees. Ooh, I got some burn going on here. If you could add weights. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna be a little nice. Ooh, this is like doing those wall sits from last week. Three, two, nice job. All right, we're gonna add some weights here. We're gonna be doing that squat heel up and then kicking it back. One arm is gonna do a little kickback. I'm gonna use my eights. Squat, heels up, kick back. Squat, heels up, kick back. Down, up, down, up. Let the arms just go for what feels good to you. We're doing a curl and then a kick back. Really lift those heels and then kick it back with a straight leg. Flex foot. Nice job. Whew. Plank, down dog reach, one arm. This is the arm that we're gonna use. We're gonna be in a plank position here. When we down dog, reach for the opposite foot. And then touch the hand to the ground and then open up to side. And then come back to plank. There's down dog, same arm. <sighs> side plank, same arm. Take your time. So your arm that's on the ground is really gonna work. And when I go slower, I actually feel it a lot more. How about you? Okay, knees down. Take a moment. All right, you can do child pose. I'm actually gonna do a little up dog. I'm still recovering from a herniated disc. So same thing using the other arm. Plank. Reach the back arm to Ankle, tap, and then side plank. When you do your down dog, use the exhale. Love the knee down option. We have a burpee. Woo! Burpee. When we come up out of the burpee, it's a quarter turn. Remember, you can step it back. You can lunge it back. So you can make this no jumping. So this is what a quarter turn looks like. Okay. Hands down, jump back, come in quarter turn, and then we turn the other direction. Use that waist. Option, lunge back, just come up. Come on, turn it up now. Some of you can go faster than me. I know you can, all right? Eight seconds. I'm gonna keep it tight, how about you? Whew. crab kicks. Option, you could do pull overs. I'm on my butt. Hands under shoulders. So if anybody wants to do pull overs, you can. I got, from here I'm gonna kick one foot and settle the hips. So I'm dipping down and kicking. And then the other option is reach for the foot 
with the opposite hand. Jen's got the great option there, a little pull over with a kick. Again, I'm gonna do a little drop in the elbows, do a little dip kick. Who doesn't like dip? Right? Scoop it up. <laughs> we got a moving squat. I'm gonna use my tens. We are up. Good posture. Stepping it out. So out, in, out, in. You're out, you're in. Push the hips back. Keep the eyes lifted. There we go. And how low can you go in that squat? Good posture. And you zip up the feet. Hey, zip up your core. And you're going to determine if you're going to stay with your heavier weights or drop to less or none. You have lateral lunge with a front lunge. Right, lateral lunge. And then a front lunge. My right leg is going to go lateral and then my right leg is going to go front. Or, here's the confusion. Lateral and then back. So it's lateral and front. If your knee is sensitive, the other foot goes back. So that we stay on the same leg. Bend both knees to get into that front lunge. Use your core to pull the weights up. Arms and core. And back. Inhale. One more. Bring it to the front. Great job. Whew. Those are compound moves. You see how your heart rate stays up? When you're using like everything in your body. Yeah. Lateral to the other side. Front lunge with that leg. When you lateral, I need your eyes to be looking out in front. Your back stays neutral. My leg goes a little bit behind that leg that's staying on the ground. Remember, if you need to, back lunge with the other foot. Go at your pace. We're really moving here. We have chaturanga, or if you need to, kickbacks. If your elbows and shoulders are sensitive, we're gonna be hovering over that floor, you guys. But if anybody wants to do some kickbacks, whew, get into chaturanga, drop down. So elbows rub the ribs. You're just hovering over the ground. You ready? And then you're gonna lift one leg and then the other. You doing okay though? Walk in your elbows. All right, push into the heels of the hands. Brace the core. Oh, lovely, right? <laughs> Try not to let your stomach get the breath. Oh, this tough. Cheeky, I can see you guys. I can see you at home. You better work on this one. All right? We need to do this a little more often. <laughs> oh, come on. From up there. You got this. Down we go. Single leg bridge. We're gonna be up on our hands here. Jen's gonna be down on her back. Whew. Hey, that's good. You, you do what you need to do. Single leg bridge. I got one leg up, and then I'm gonna drop the leg and lift the leg. So this is more advanced. You can go into where Jen is on the back. 
this is gonna just increase weight in the leg where you hold the dumbbell. Down with the hips, up with the hips. Make sure your foot's not directly underneath your knee, right? Anything a little bit forward so you push through the heel. And your arms are still working. See, this is a great vacation workout. Okay, we're gonna switch legs. Because <clears throat> we didn't use the weights that often, and you could definitely do it without the weights. Good posture. Everybody's good. All right, core tight. You can change your hand position here. Hips go up and down. And make adjustments, right? This is not about how many reps I can get. This is about finding the right range of motion for you. I like to pause a little bit at the top. I'm shaking a little bit. close here. Mm. Nice job. Ooh, you're going to hug the knees into your chest for a moment here. Oh. Okay, now you can, you can be done or you can stay with us. And we're going to do a 10 minute core challenge here. So if you're ready to just some knee sway side to side. We are using the gliders again. And there's definitely, you can do this without. But I'm gonna tell you what, it'll level it up. So maybe you wanna go grab those paper plates. All right, well I'm sweating now. This is gonna be a little tough. We got three rounds, five movements, 30 seconds of effort with a 10 second transition. We're gonna start with tucks and plank position here. You can always, again, mountain climbers if you're not using the gliders. You are in plank position, hands under shoulders. I got my sweat tall because it's sweaty right now. Tucking the knees in or mountain climbing. So my hands are on the edge of my mat. It's actually doubled up here. And when I tuck, I exhale. Normally, I would ask you to really round your lower back, but I'm, again, healing from a herniated disc, so I'm gonna keep a little arch in my low back here. And you're gonna see me do some back extensions in between. What's great, you got resistance. Forearm plank, all right, I'm just gonna do a little up dog. Forearm plank, jack or tap, right? You can do both legs or one at a time. So you can go one leg, then the other or both legs and do this for me slow it down I like the double leg because then I get this like mm, zip up in the midsection but then be honoring your hips shoulders away from ears belly pulls up and in this is gonna tighten up that waist you guys flip it on your back we're gonna have the heels on the gliders. No gliders, you're gonna bridge. Hips go up, one leg and then the other leg go out and in. You can walk the feet out and in. If you really wanna intensify this, both feet out, both feet in while the hips are lifted. Or keep your hips down if you're dealing with any back issues, right? This part of the leg is part of your core. So again, I can keep my hips down, still work, side forearm plank. You can hold or you're gonna jack. I'm gonna jack my feet. Top leg goes forward in that forearm plank, dropping the hip, lifting the hip. So actually I'm gonna put my hand a little down in front. So drop the hip, lift the hips. Relax the shoulders. And again, I could just stay 
and hold side plank with a neutral spine here. Still gonna work hard. This is where we're working. That underside oblique. Gonna pulse your gut inward versus pushing out all the time. Nice job. Whew. I'm just gonna face the back. You guys are good? You at home? Same thing. Drop the hip, lift the hip. This is gonna be good to you. You can see my position from the other side. So inhale, lower, exhale, zip up. You don't have to go too big. Know your body. And then the hand that's on the floor, that's on the top, it's just light. Right? Don't use it as a, as a leg. Light fingers. Okay, we're gonna go back to move number one. That was the end of round one. Tucks or mountain climbers. You can change it up. Plank. In and push back. Now, you can change the tempo. Quick, slow. Oh, I had more break. You can keep going though. You got an extra 10 seconds. <laughs> All right, you can go quick in, slow back. Changing tempo can make it feel different. Push through the heels of the hands, pull up and in in your waist. Oh. Whew. Forearm plank, Jack. Oh, sorry, Cheeky, I'm leaving sweat. <laughs> leaving some DNA. Forearms, tap, or you can tap or jack. Really zip up your inner thighs if you're gonna jack. Balls of the feet right in the middle of the gliders. Right, legs work well too. Woo. Doing all right? Oh my gosh. And you get shoulders. Flipping it. Hamstrings, let's go. You gotta be quick on this one. Heels on. You know, if you're gonna modify, I would go for speed. So if your hips are gonna be down, go for speed. Even when they're up too, or you can go a little faster. Okay, and we're gonna tighten up that whole waist here. No arms. Side forearm plank. Whew. <laughs> okay, we have not been inside doing an indoor workout like forever. We're all sucking some wind here. All right, Jack, squeeze it in. And I hope you are too, right? We're with you today. And again, take moments. You can even pause. Out, in. Ooh, I'm working hard. Other side. I'll make sure I give you the extra break on the, the next round, okay? Get in position. <laughs> All right, you're gonna open, close. As you open the legs, the hips can drop. And add a element on there. Remember, we're gonna take I think I got you for 20 seconds on this break. All right, 20 it is. We're gonna take it no matter what, right? Whew, I'm gonna do an up dog here. So think about the next move. 10 more seconds. Tucks or mountain climbers? Whew. Last round. Get set. So I'm gonna go a little faster this time. I'm gonna have my knees wider. All right, let's finish this off strong. Come on. Forearm 
arm plank. We're gonna jack those feet or tap them out. So you always want more arms and core. Here it is. Get a forearm. You could even hold if you need to, right? Just work on some real deep core strength here. I'm gonna come in and pause one, two, then open, squeeze. Shoulders away from ears. Your hamstring curls are coming up. Nice job. Oh my gosh. Jen, you're making a lot of noise back there. Woo, here we go. You too. All right, everybody. All right. Jen just celebrated her 50th. She's looking great, right? Woo. We have a special workout coming for you guys. All right, remember, if you want to level up, maybe double curl. Oh, side plank. Take a deep breath, right? Get in position. <laughs> did you rush or did you slow down that time, right? All right, you can add a moment where you pause with the hand. I kind of like that. Makes me really push my hips up. Ooh. Three, two, other side. Nice job. Ooh, everybody's looking a little sweaty and red. Yeah. Get yourself in the side forearm plank. Drop in, lift. Or you could do a hip drop and then reach it up. Come on, watch the shoulders. Push them away from the ears. Pull up and in in your waist. And then you're gonna flip it in forearm plank. Quickly, just hold 20 seconds. Oh, pull up and in. Shoulders down. You still got 10 seconds, come on. This is the stuff that pulls it in. All right, this is gonna make it, these are harder for the core versus standing stuff. This is more effective, actually. Relax, Ooh. yay. You could child, I'm gonna do a little up dog. The sweat drips. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Who's sweaty? <laughs> yeah. I'm sweaty. Nice job. All right, let's push yourself up. I don't hold your mat. And we are going to stretch. Nice job, ladies. Nice job, you at home, too. Hmm. <sighs> Let's start with a lunge. I'm gonna take my real right leg forward. If you need to, you can always put your towel underneath your opposite leg. I am gonna do that. So for the psoas, right, the front of the hip, we want the legs about 90, and then we're gonna push the hips forward. And then if you want more stretch, I'm gonna reach that back arm up. Even more stretch, you can do a side. If you have a yoga block, you could have your other hand on the yoga block, or maybe you've got the ability to touch your fingers to the floor. I definitely don't. I'm just, you guys can keep reaching forward. I'm gonna just reach back. Take a deep breath here. And then we're gonna sit back. We're gonna pull the toes up. We're gonna sit back. Ooh, right? Do that psoas stretch one more time. So bend the knees, reach up, the side stretch, same stretch. And then release it back. Now,
Now, we are gonna face to the back of the room for just a moment, and we're gonna do a spin around stretch for the hips. So, we've done this before. We're gonna straddle, right? We're gonna spin over our true right shoulder and face you guys. Ooh, right? Feel that? And if you've really got good flexibility, that hip is on the ground. I don't know, mine's not there yet. It's always a work in progress, right? If you want to hug the knees, lean forward. And then we're gonna unwind and we'll do the same thing on the other leg. So first we're gonna come back into plank. If you have your towel for your knee, I'm gonna shift it to the other side. Knee goes down, step forward into lunge, or just step into lunge. I did the old lady thing. Oh, no old ladies here. I did the safer for my back thing. So now we got the other leg forward. I'm gonna reach up against the legs, right the front of the hip here. You can stretch it over. I'm just gonna go straight back. Take a deep breath. And then hinge it forward. So toes go up, shift your hips back. Another option to walk the fingers forward. Back into lunge, reach up. You can reach back. And then into the hamstring, push forward. And this time we are gonna face you. And it's my left. We're gonna face to the back. So we're gonna spin around to the left. And we're facing to the back. All right, so chest is up. And then you can you can always check out our hips, right? Sometimes that hip is so tight it just lifts off the floor. So people have the ability or have the mobility and the flexibility that it doesn't. Now, hug the knees, come forward over the legs. Oh, that feels good. You make me feel this crazy. How did you get so fly? You got me. And then unwind, we're facing you. Straddle, stretch. You got me like. Heel it in, heel toe in, roll up. And then tricep. We're gonna go hand behind, step the feet in, give you a side bend. Switch the arms. And then we're gonna hand clap, like you're clapping your hands, ground forward. Hands behind the head, open the chest. Look up. One more time, round. Open the chest. Relax the arms by your side. Ooh, big inhale, reach it up. Pause for a moment here, and I want you to reach it back. Lengthen through the torso. Pull it down into your heart center, and let's do one more. And have gratitude. What are you grateful for today? Ah, being with my crew where it's not wet, right? Hand on the heart. Take a big inhale here. And let it go. You guys did phenomenal. Thank you, guys. Woo! Thank you, Diane. You're super sweaty, Jen. I have but Carol in the back. Liza way back here. Cheeky way back here. We need to give a big shout out to Cheeky. Thank you for letting us come to your basement. <laughs> it's been raining for like three days in New Jersey, so we were like, I needed a film. You know us, we're gonna stay consistent with you guys because you are staying consistent. So take care, you guys, and we will see you back on this mat. Bye.